conversation, okay, comment bar, you know, talk to me, let's, let's speak about things, okay. What up though, it's your homie, Troy Davis. I am coming to you, um, snowed in, uh, with a touch of cabin fever, but also grateful because electricity is still a thing, so... Count your blessings. Today we're going to do a break it down now. And usually you know that I sing this, okay, and I dance. I have a good time, but I'm, I'm, I have feelings, all right? So I'm not going to dance yet. I don't know if it's going to happen. We'll, we'll see as it goes, okay? So what we're going for today is um, Macklemore's um, song, White Privilege 2. Okay, now, I'm not a listener of Macklemore because why would I? And, um... And usually in order to have a second something, you have to have a first. Okay, I have not listened to the first. I don't plan on doing it. It's a nine minute song. Definitely not, okay. Gonna do the whole nine minutes. Um, but let's let's start. Here we go. This is my place to get my two cents. Or should I stand on the side and shut my mouth? No justice, no peace. Okay, I'm saying There was a lot that was happening. A lot. Um, you know, a lot of the things he was saying was very valid, okay, about like, you know, um, silence being a luxury and how, you know, all of these white artists do things to steal hip hop and like are silent um, when it matters, okay, which is very truthful, okay, and I'm not trying to take away from that part at all, but could be I could be wrong okay let me know let's this is a conversation here you know let's start a conversation okay I could be wrong but to my knowledge Macklemore has not done anything for the black community you walking in a march is absolutely a good thing but also you have money and you're white and you can say things to people that make people you know I guess think but then in the same token I think inherently because of who you are and how you are um it won't be a, oh, this is beneficial for Black Lives Matter because it'll be on you. Because it's going to be like, oh my goodness, Macklemore is such a good person. He has a song called White Privilege. But where do we go from here? You know what I'm saying? <sighs> um, he attacked Iggy and Miley and stuff in the song a bit. But... I feel a way about that because I felt a way a while ago. It was some award show a couple years back when he had that whole um, song. What was it called? I don't know. Okay, the, the gay song, all right? Macklemore's gay song, okay? He did a performance or whatever, and he was the last performance, so it was like the, you know, grand finale or whatever. And apparently, to me, it seems as though he only made the song because it was, like, hip and because when he was little, he thought that maybe he could be gay, which is, like... Okay. At the end, he had like he was performing his song with this like um lady singer who was really good or whatever apparently. And um close to the end, he had all of these like um gay men and lesbians come out and um marry each other to his song. What is the point? What are you doing? Like I, you're only uh, my my feeling is that you're doing this because I mean, it's a good thing to do, but then also like having people get married on a award show to your song in the end is giving you glory. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Where do we go from here, Macklemore? What are we what are we really doing? That's you know, it's the same way I feel about um PETA with the whole Flint, Michigan thing and how they're telling people they're giving people water if they they um promise to be vegan like that is absolutely ridiculous give give to people do good things for other people because you want to do other things for people don't do it because you're going to get something out of it you know what I'm saying it's like how beneficial are we you're not doing anything for me so I would prefer no thank you um is it a good thing I guess to give another perspective sure but do I think it's beneficial in the end nah 
And still, I don't think that the gay song did anything for people either, really. It really didn't. Everybody just patted him on the back. Like, what I want to see from this is, like, a dialogue can only go so far, but, like, who are you including in this dialogue? Mm -hmm. Like, what are you doing with your platform to give the people who have been voiceless, like, a voice? Yeah. Like, are you inviting other, like, black rappers who have been saying and black people who have been saying these things for years and years and years who are living these experiences like are you giving them space on your platform to voice their concerns to your audience like, no you're voicing your concerns and that's good like that's a good start but like what are you doing for us like what are you doing to help us get our message across in new ways in ways that we are usually like banned from because yeah. like we're not white and white people don't want to hear angry black people talk about their experiences because, because we're just been, angry black people we've been like they've been ignoring us and our angry experiences for Centuries. ever so yeah. like what are you doing as a white person to make space on your platform for the people who you are like so like you're so down for and i don't doubt like when it comes to hip-hop like i don't i'm not saying like it's an only a black person medium but and he says that he respects like classic hip-hop and he was greatly influenced by it i'm like that's fine but if you're like greatly influenced by the culture and you're calling out people like iggy azalea and elvis presley and um Miley Cyrus would have like borrowed here and there and taken this and that to make it their own and branding it hip hop. Like, what are you doing for us? Like, what are you doing for the people who created this culture that you're so in love with and you respect so much? So, like, yeah. You've made a good show and I'm like, what are you gonna do with it? Well, <laughs> um, Tosh is a lot more eloquent than I am with speaking. So she's done a lot of speaking. She is not on camera, okay? We can put a nice picture in for her as she talks. If nothing else, Macklemore, a conversation has started, but let's keep it going. Yeah, let's keep it going, guys. Uh, give me some feedback in the comments, whatever. And thanks for watching. Follow me and be my friend and Tasha's, even though you can't see her face right now, but I'm going to put her in the video. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to give a power because you're so comfortable 